Patricia Rose, internationally acclaimed scholar and public speaker, by Giovanna Garriga. Patricia Rose was born and raised in Harlem and the Bronx in New York. Rose graduated from Yale University where she achieved a Bachelor in Sociology and her PhD from Brown University in American Studies. She is currently Consulate Professor of Africana Studies and Director of the Center of Studies, Race and Ethnicity in America in Brown University. Tricia Rose is well known for her groundbreaking book on the emerge of hip hop culture, black noise, rap, music, and black culture in contemporary America. Black Noise is considered a foundational text for the study of hip hop. The book won an American Book Award from the Before Columbus Foundation in 1995 and, in 1999, was listed by Black Issues in a Higher Education as one of its top books of the 20th century. Tricia Rose examines four major areas in the rap phenomenon. First, the historical evolution of rap and hip-hop then the musical and technological integration, third, the political aspect, and fourth, the sexual terrain, particularly from the female rapper's perspective. According to Rose, rap music brings together a tangle of some of the most complex social, cultural, and political issues in contemporary American society. Rap's contradictory articulations are not signs of absent intellectual clarity, They are a common feature of community and popular culture dialogues that always offer more than one cultural, social, or political viewpoint. The purpose of pursuing a career in communication and media studies is to be able to explore society and its issues with the intentions of educating the community and inspire them to build a brighter future. Trisha Rose has done the incredible task of analyzing her culture by speaking about perception of black neighborhoods and systematic racism, feminism, and discrimination. Rose has used the media as a tool to achieve her purpose and has inspired people all around the world to do the same. The work of Trisha Rose carries a strong connection with the principle of communication of culture. This principle inquires the behavior of society when facing cultural evolution. For example, in the book Media and Society, Chapter 7, The Math Culture, Mass Society Hypothesis by Arthur Berger, is presented a theory that emphasizes that the media not so much affect or shape, but actually determine the consciousness of individual. Clearly, Trisha Rose's contribution with her groundbreaking book Black Noise develops a similar theory. Mass media, in this case music, utilizing hip-hop, determines the consciousness of people and therefore the results are discrimination, violence, and rejection. That is what Rose describes in her narrative, the consciousness that the message in hip-hop music brought to black communities. In her analysis, Trisha Rose discusses social issues that black communities deal with. She explains how rap involves in these communities impacting economic opportunity, commercial marketing, technological advances, and cultural production. Rose describes one of the most devastating urban projects in New York, the Cross Bronx Expressway. The project forced 170,000 people to relocate, people within working and lower middle class neighborhoods. The relocation included the South Bronx where rap music was originally created. Along with the mother changes, the number of slumlords grew, redlining became more prevalent, and services for the people of the city became inadequate. While all these events were happening, the movement of hippo culture came to life. Well, actually, I'm going to answer a slightly different question because I don't think the women on this panel should be relegated only to women's issues, and it would be the second gender-based question. to hear all the men on that, but let, let, me, let me first say there's no question that 
commercial mainstream American hip hop not only responds to a legacy of violence against black people, but it also exacerbates and glorifies it. Commercial mainstream American hip hop. This conversation has acted as if hip hop is one thing or another, an entire monolith. And by ignoring the extraordinary commercial penetration of hip hop, and I use that word advisedly, what we've allowed to happen is to render meaningful criticism of the commercial takeover of a black cultural form designed not only to liberate but to create critical consciousness and turned it into the cultural arm of predatory capitalism in the last 30 years. Right. And so I love hip hop so much, I must speak the truth about the demise of the spirit of hip hop in so far as it has been taken over by these ideas, so much so that this young gentleman here thinks that this is funny, right? That calling black women bitches is, is funny. And, and we egged him on with your laughter. So I'd like you all to ask yourselves why you thought that was so funny. Exactly. As a result of the studies done by Trisha Rose and her various analyses of hip hop and black culture, the society of today can see a broad perspective of the condition that these communities had been through. The theory introduced by Trisha Rose about how the evolution of hip hop music has transformed the perception of black communities and told the story simultaneously allowed people to reflect on the cultural movements these neighborhoods been through. Thanks to Rose's ideas, we can now analyze social issues such as systematic racism, feminism and sexuality, discrimination against black communities, and the violence thrown against them.